This is Dolany TV, friends. Welcome aboard. Thanks for what has been a great hockey game tonight to the Edmonton Oilers. A 14th win in a row. They get the job done. Stuart Skinner's 11th straight win in starting games. Evander Kane's goal and assist. Big reason why we won. So too is Warren Fogle's goal and assist. Those would be your three stars of the hockey game. The Edmonton Oilers barely show up for the first two periods of the game. Take 40 minutes off, and then roll the Columbus Blue Jackets in the last period of play, absolutely dominating them down the stretch. Vinny and Skinny, and it's a winning, my friends. The Edmonton Oilers off and running with their 14th. Now the next game, like I said, Chicago all eyes on the Blackhawks, looking to make it 15. I think the big thing here for the Oilers tonight is Chris Knobloch jumbled up the lines going into that uh, third period, something he has not been known to do as Oilers coach. But I, again, right, is, hey, why not go nuclear against the Jack? It's not like they're going to be able to defend it. And they did not last up against the Oilers down the stretch in this third period. Credit, like I said, to the Jackets. They gave us a very good game through 40. The Oilers, though, maybe lulled them into a fake sense of security through 40 minutes and then just turned on the Jets and cruised by them. I mean, you've heard the afterburners up in uh, northern Alberta if you're around the Lakeland area enough times up uh, my way, but um, yeah, no, fantastic from the Edmonton Oilers tonight. Dylan Holloway gets a goal, and the big thing from the Edmonton Oilers is, again, as they have all win streak long, they just stuck with it. They just kept to the process and eventually won the hockey game. Friends, before we go any further, if you are new to the channel here on the Post Game Show, I want you to consider hitting that subscribe button. I want you to come tune into the live stream Thursday night if I'm available against the Chicago Blackhawks. And I want you to catch tomorrow's video as I have something uh, hopefully cooking in my brain here post game that I want to talk about a little bit on Corey Perry and his usage down the stretch in this season. We talked about it on stream, but I'd like to throw it out to you that watch the videos a little bit more regularly than the live streams. But with that said, friends, I mean... For the Edmonton Oilers, the process, right? The process is feel out that first period. You might be down, you might be up, but you're still in the hockey game. That's been the MO all win streak long. 14 games in a row, the Oilers have not lost a game in the first period. So essentially you're cutting it down to you either have to win just one period or you have to stay even through one period and win two or just some kind of combination of explosive offense or great defense for 60 minutes. Tonight, the Oilers had a terrible puck possession effort, right? They, they had terrible giveaways. They were a disaster in their own zone for much of this first half of the hockey game, and they were very much so failing to generate much offense in the first 40. The third period comes, right? They've done the process. It's 1-1 one, one after two. They're very much so in the game. They jumble up the lines. The Oilers get to work as they have all win streak long and find three goals in the third period to win. Three goals in the third period seems to be this magical number that we really love on this win streak. But it's, it's kind of that process, right? I'm talking about trust it. Even when you don't have your best, just keep the game close and you should have a chance to win. That's been the Oilers MO the past five years. Any game that's close, the Oilers can win. But when you find yourself down four after one, it's unlikely. Well, the Oilers tonight... Let the Jackets dictate the game through 40 minutes. And then they just said, oh, wait, everybody pregame was saying, if we attack the Columbus Blue Jackets net and defense, they're going to fold like a wet paper bag. Well, I mean, that's exactly what Columbus did. And it should have technically been 6-1-7-1. If that goal that was offside, uh, McDavid scored on Merzlikens in the second, would have counted on the power play, the four-on-three power play, I think they would have won. But the big thing here for the Oilers tonight is they just trust the process and stuck with it after that went against them and simply, right, didn't have it all game. Third period comes around. Well, now we got him right where we want him. And Stuart Skinner was phenomenal, as he has been all win streak long. And the Oilers find a way to win the hockey game. Friends, I'm tired. Worked, uh, well, started at uh, about 7.30 today. And uh, mm -mm, uh, yeah, you know what? been going all the way up until I got home and ate a bowl of soup before coming on live. So at 9.30, I'm about done ready to, or about ready to be done work by 10 o'clock tonight once this video hits live on YouTube. So thanks for being aboard this evening on the post game show. I'm Tyson, this is Dolan and TV up on Odie here.